So one of the most common questions I've been getting asked lately is, should I invest into Herman Prime? Today, we are going to be diving into that question and kind of talking about what players should be investing into Herman. First of all, if you guys are new here, this is Gains Gaming. We make Rise of Kingdoms content. So if you do enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Rise of Kingdoms content. But Herman was just recently released in Rise of Kingdoms. And today we want to talk about what exactly his skills do and what kind of players should be investing into Herman for open field fighting. So first of all, I want to talk about what kind of players should be investing into Herman, because obviously he is the new Archer Commander and probably one of the best Archer Commanders in the game. So if we go ahead and toggle here to Archers, we can see that the recent Archers that we have released are Herman Prime, Zhuge Liang, and Boudicca Prime. And as we know, with these Prime Commanders, they are obviously much better than basically every other commander in the game. Every single time we get a new Prime Commander, they are just top notch. We have Joan Prime, we have Scipio Prime, we have Boudicca Prime, and now Herman Prime. And every single Prime Commander has been getting better and better as they are released. And so one question I have been getting asked quite a bit is, do I even invest in the Boudicca now or should I just go for Herman Prime? And honestly, my answer is Boudicca Prime, if you don't already have her expertise or at 5551, I honestly wouldn't even invest in her at all unless you are an archer player and you are planning on running at least two archer marches in the open field. Personally, I only run one archer march in the open field and this KVK, I kind of benched my Boudicca a little bit. I have been running Zhuge Liang with YSG and the double AoE in huge murder ball situations has been absolutely phenomenal. Considering most players fight in dot mode, this pairing, even though it lacks march speed, in those big murder balls where you're essentially just letting your marches die regardless and you want to get as much value as possible, having the double AoE with Zhuge YSG was absolutely top notch. And so for a majority of KVK, I actually benched my Boudicca. And, you know, in regular skirmishes, I will still use Boudicca and use Zuge Boudicca or Boudicca Zuge. But in those big brawls, I actually typically prefer Zuge and YSG for that double AoE reason. And when we take a look at Herman, he also provides that AoE bonus that Boudicca does lack. So with Herman Prime, we obviously have an AoE active skill. This is going to deal direct damage to up to three enemy troops in a fan shape. This is going to do up to 2,000 damage to each troop. This is very similar to Scipio Prime. So if we take it off Archer here and we show you Scipio Prime, you can see that his active skill also does 2,000 damage factor. And similar to Herman Prime, Scipio Prime also has another extra bonus with his active skill. So Scipio reduces the health of the enemy by 30%. With Herman Prime, you are getting a poison stack. So troops hit by this damage are inflicted with two stacks of poison for 10 seconds. The poison effect can stack up to 15 times and its duration resets whenever it gains another stack. For each stack of poison, the troops take 3% more skill damage. So this is pretty insane. So you can get up to 45% extra skill damage with this skill. That is pretty much YSG's entire benefit is the extra skill damage that he does, the 50% skill damage. That is basically what you're getting here with your Herman Prime. And on top of that, when you pair him with a commander like Zuge or with a commander like YSG, you are getting that five AOE, circular AOE, and doing 45% more skill damage. If you are pairing Herman with YSG, you're getting 45% skill damage and an additional 50% skill damage, or with Zuge Liang, and you're getting an additional 10% damage bonus and an additional 20% skill damage bonus, this is just absolutely insane damage that you're doing on the field. And with Herman, obviously the poison is one of the biggest things that you're looking at in terms of his viability in the open field. Now looking at his second skill, we get archer attack, 20% archer attack, 20% archer defense, and 15% archer march speed. This is just absolutely insane. The 15% march speed is probably the best part about this second skill because archers are insanely slow. Like I said before, my Zuge YSG was so slow on the field that if it wasn't a huge murder ball, I could not use it because like, I'll show you, if I was marching my, my troops out and you know, I had, I'll take a couple marches out. So if I have, I'll actually even just take out um, Zuge and YSG and kind of show you exactly how slow they really are. So I was running full T5, so I'll have to get rid of this, but I was running full T5 
and we'll just park it next to my city here and i'll show you exactly how slow it is i'll bring out one infantry we'll bring out lou and alex i'll do t5 again because once again i was using full t5 and then we'll take out a cav let's do let's just do nevsky joan so i'll show you guys exactly how different the march speed was so if we just go like this and we march off territory up this way I'll kind of show you guys exactly how slow Zuge and YSG really is. And you can kind of watch it in real time. You can already see how much slower Zuge and YSG is. And, you know, when we were marching five minutes, my four marches were getting there within, you know, the five minutes. And then Zuge was taking like eight minutes to get to the same spot. So you can already see exactly how much slower he is. If we look at the march time, two minutes, 30 seconds, two minutes, 54 seconds. And then we have three minutes and 30 seconds, a full minute slower, over a full minute slower than my calves. So this is just crazy slow. So having the extra march speed from Herman is just top notch. That is exactly what you want to see on archers. Now, looking at his third skill, we get an additional 20% more AOE skill damage. This means you really want to pair Herman with an AOE commander. So people that are saying that Herman and Boudica is a great pairing, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's great, but Herman with Zuge or Herman YSG is absolutely insane. That is 100% exactly what you want is an AOE commander behind Herman because you're boosting the, the skill damage you're already doing and you're boosting AOE skill damage specifically. And then here we have whenever the troop uses an active skill while attacking another troop on the map, their current target loses up to 20% defense for two seconds, as well as dealing an extra 5% damage to infantry and you are taking more damage from calves but you're already taking damage from calves so his four skill so this troop also is able to take less damage from poison troops which if you remember you can do up to three troops at a time with the poison up to 15 stacks and this will get up to one percent reduction which is actually 15 percent less damage that you are taking from those poison troops as well as doing an extra 200 damage factor with a 10 percent chance of doing extra aoe to those three enemy troops once again damage factor 200 and then troops hit by this damage are inflicted with two more stacks of poison for 10 seconds that is just this skill is just absolutely insane so if people are saying 5551 herman don't listen to them you you want the expertise with this commander then his last one whenever this commander's troop inflicts 25 stacks of poison on enemy troops it triggers the forest of fallen eagle skill at level five so if you remember that is his first skill the fallen eagle skill and that is going to be basically another active skill that you are doing with the AOE damage and adding more poisons. So that is just completely overpowered as well. Basically kind of like Joan Prime where you're doing a second skill essentially. This is basically what you're doing with that expertise. So with Herman, you absolutely need the expertise in the open field. I mean, he's going to be good regardless, but you need the expertise in the open field for sure. Now, who should invest in the Herman? This is one of the most important questions that you want to ask is who should be investing into him? And I would say the answer is pretty simple. If you run one Archer March and you don't already have Boudicca Prime invested into at all, you are 100% investing in the Herman. If you have Boudicca and you only run one Archer March, I would say Herman is skippable. And the only reason why is because Boudica is obviously a great commander still. She's not bad now that Herman came in. She's still probably the, the second or third best archer commander in the game for the open field. And so I would not say to bench your Boudica and invest into Herman and then just never use Boudica again. So especially if you are only running one archer march, which I feel like a majority of people are only running one archer march unless you're an archer main. So people who are maining in archers, obviously you are maxing Herman immediately. You are definitely going to want to use him. But if you already have your march of like Boudica and Zuge, like you don't really need to invest in a Herman unless you have every other meta commander expertise. And what I mean by meta, I mean basically all the new commanders into the game. So you want to have Nevsky Joan, you want to have Hookah Bing, you want to have Luce, Scipio, Zuge Liang. Boudica, like all these commanders would need to be expertise in order for you to even consider then investing into Herman and benching another commander. So if you don't have all those commanders expertise, then I would probably wait on Herman. And I mean, I think he's going to be great for a while, but at the same time, 
if you already have your one archer march solidified you could also just wait for the next cavalry to come out and there's a lot of speculation that the new calves are going to be basically replacing xy because you know xy and william are kind of like the next two cav commanders to be replaced in my opinion um, another thing that people are hypothesizing is another pairing for attila with the smite damage that i think that'd be really cool if they bring in a new commander with smite damage for cavalry because attila takeda with smite damage would be absolutely just destroyed the game in terms of how much output that would be able to have like a luce and attila kind of pairing that would be just insane and so like i think xy and william are going to be the two commanders that basically have a replacement coming in the game most likely xy um that i think will be a really good invest as well for most players but to kind of finish up the video if you already have Boudica, i think you can skip herman unless like you are just like so into herman that you you need to expertise him and you have the gold heads to do so personally i don't i only have 581 gold heads right now and if you remember it costs 690 to expertise after the unlock so 700 heads total I did get 10 from the first wheel, which is nice. I didn't have to spend a ton of gems on it. I just did the 10 spins for the unlock and I got lucky. I guess I can't look at the wheel anymore, but I got lucky and I was able to get it uh, in the first wheel. And so I got the summon, but I honestly don't think I'll be investing in a Herman at least for a while because, you know, I did just finish up my set of Archer gear. And personally, I don't really see myself making another set because like, I already have five sets that are basically all finished up for the most part. I need some more iconic crystals. I do have a couple more things to upgrade with the Kurok's ability, but I'm going to be waiting on that until I finish everything else up because that's kind of my last priority right now. But I did just finish up my archer set. I did that on live stream before Kingsland started, if you missed that. Um, I did do the Dragon Breath Bro, and then I also invested into the leadership set with the health for the legs and the boots which is a really great set for archers because you get an extra 2% march speed with that and you basically just get 14% troop health, which is pretty awesome, as well as an extra two-piece bonus of 3% defense, which was pretty phenomenal as well. But in conclusion, Herman Prime, absolutely amazing commander, but if you already have investments into archers and you don't have another place for Herman, I don't think he is so amazing that he's worth benching your Boudicca for if you've already invested fully into Boudicca. I think he is skippable in that sense. But other than that, if you don't have Boudicca invested into, Herman is a must max commander. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm curious what you guys think about Herman. And if you guys are using him currently, I've seen some great reports of him so far. Speaking of reports, here is one report that I just saw in Alliance chat. This was basically just some open field fighting with a Herman and Zuge. So both are expertise. We have the YSG skill and the Belisarius skill on the support skills for him. And this is actually another Herman. So we have Boudicca Herman and we have Zuge Liang Herman. Obviously, very, very different. I don't think this is a dual situation because he does have extra hits here, but we have Zuge Liang Herman with Hukabing William. We also have Zuge Herman with Nesk Joan. Tons of AoE damage here. Luce Alex. And then we also have Henry Zuge, which is a great pairing as well for the open field. Then we have Scipio Chuck, and then we have Trajan Ethel, and then finally another Luce and Alex. So tons of AUE damage here. Really, really solid report. Um, we can take a look at the total battle data. 1.1 million kill points to 168k. Sev wounds, very, very positive. And let's see how strong is... You know, I, would, I was expecting a Mega Whale here. So <laughs> the fact that he's not a Mega Whale, and I'm pretty sure the people he was fighting against are Mega Whales. Like this guy, yeah, 24.7 billion kill points. That is pretty substantial amount of kill points that he was fighting against. Um, you know, this is definitely, I would consider a Kraken with how many kill points they have. And so that kind of really shows how strong Herman really is. But let me know what you guys think. And thanks for checking out the video.